Good afternoon. My name is Bob Ingram. I chair the meeting. We're, this is our Plan Zone Commission <coughs> meeting of 16 May 23. I've got my co-chair to my left is Barbara Maness. To my right is the secretary, treasurer, <laughs> Dave Dolan. We will start off with our public hearing. Uh, roll call, please, Dave. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Schneider? Present. Michael Berry? Present. Johnson? Here. Tallman here. Ingram? Present. Hepner? Here. Bransgard? Here. Reinhardt? Here. Manus? Here. Garrington? Here. And Stelk? Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. We'll start off with case number ROW 23-02, the request of the City of Damport to vacate the alley right away located north of Locust Street between Bell Avenue and Duggleby Street in the Fifth Ward. Matt? Thank you. Um, so the map on, in front of you shows the length of the alley. It's currently unimproved. Um, so it's located between Locust Street and Pleasant Street, between Bell Avenue and Duggleby Street. Um, it's currently unimproved. There's a couple properties on each end along Duggleby and then Bell Avenue that uh, utilize the alley. Otherwise, that center part of the alley uh, currently is not paved. Uh, so the alley is about 20 feet wide by 600 feet in length. So that's 12,000 square feet. The photo on the left shows the view from Bell Avenue, which is shared by three properties. And then the photo on the right shows the view from Duggleby Street. So that alley is currently in gravel. Um, so the request was spurred by the owner at the uh, corner of Locust Street and Duggleby Street. Uh, so the alley extends east to west and then dead ends. And then the property owner at 2324 Locust Street, their driveway extends north where it merges with the alley. And then you can make a right if you were driving out to Duggleby Street. Um, so this is the zoning map. So properties are zoned a mixture of single and two family residential district. And then there are uh, several multifamily residential properties along Locust. Future land use map shows this area as residential general, and then Locust Streets under an urban corridor overlay. Um, an interesting feature of this alley, a storm sewer does extend from Pleasant Street through the center of the block where it angles between backyards. Um, goes through the alley and then south to Locust Street between two multifamily buildings. So that's shown in purple on the map. Uh, probably one of the reasons why this property or this alley hasn't been improved by the city has to do with elevation and topography. Um, so it's a little bit of a bowl. So it's highest at Bell Avenue and Duggleby and then gets lower towards the center of the block. Um, so many of those homes along Pleasant Street would have a walkout basement, essentially. I'm sorry, I forgot to delete that photo. Um, <laughs> so in terms of public input, uh, public notices were sent to property owners within 200 feet, notifying them of today's public hearing. And a public hearing notice was published in the Quad City Times. Uh, so since that notice has been published, we've received several comments from uh, property owners on this block, um, largely from the two owners at the corner of Locust Street and Duggleby, and then as well as a property owner along Pleasant Street that currently doesn't have driveway access to Pleasant Street, um, voicing their concern as well. Uh, so vacation of an alley is a two-step process. Uh, first is to determine if the right-of-way is needed for public purpose. And then second would be to negotiate and determine the terms of conveyance to adjacent property owners, and that's done through the city's legal department. Um, so a formal staff recommendation will be provided when this item is brought back for consideration. Thank you, Matt. Commissioners, any questions of staff? I have. Commissioner Johnson? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the, the gravel that is in the alleyway now, is that done by the city or by the homeowner? We don't have records of 
who did it, but I did check the um, 1986 aerial photos that we have, which was when gravel um, was not, a, this when they put in the, the code to no longer do gravel. Um, and it was in, there was gravel already in place in this area. So um, it, I can look into it in more detail, but at least some of it is legal non-conforming. Commissioner Hefner. A, uh, an easement along the storm sewer. So there, there would be one. Um, I think the terminology is um, that it does exist, um, uh, but it, this area of the city, we don't have it fully depicted um, on there. But there, okay. there is easements in place. Um, I just wondered how that might affect this. Right. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. You, That's all. Thank you, Commissioner Hefner. Anybody else before I open it up to the public? Seeing none, would anybody in the audience care to step forward? Please introduce yourself and make your comments heard, either in favor of or in opposition to. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Michael Malloy. I represent Sean Egan, who owns real property at 2342 East Locust Street which is in this block we're talking about. Um, I'm, here to, I'm here to tell you today that Mr. Egan opposes this particular vacation of this alleyway, which would close the public right-of-way off to the public for its use in the future. This has been a long-term alley, as the city has indicated, and it ought to stay that way. And... I want to point out to you that Mr. Egan's real property located at 2342 East Locust Street, if this alley was closed off and he was prevented from using this alley for a egress or ingress to his real property, that would create a distinct safety hazard for him. Presently, his property has a five-foot cement wall constructed by the city of Davenport. Um, as you can see in that picture, that runs parallel to the property that he owns. And that's a uh, retaining wall there on public right of way. Uh, there is only one property owner here located at the intersection of Duggleby and East Locust that is requesting this. And if this was granted, he would be allowed to block the alleyway and construct a private garage um, for his private uses and would prevent the public from entering the alleyway from Duggleby Street. Um, as staff has told you already, alleyways are for public purposes, and this alleyway serves a vital public purpose the way it presently exists. And we would ask that the uh, commission recommend against vacating this alley. Uh, are there any questions from the commission? Commissioner Hepburn. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Moy, you said safety was a, a concern of Mr. Agins. Uh, can you point out what safety yes. you were referring um, to? If you see that uh, on that picture on the left, which is Mr. Hagen's real property, um, his driveway extends um, on the west side of his property down to East Locust Street. And then you can see the adjacent five-foot cement wall uh, in front of his property. Now, um, we have pictures showing that when you're in a vehicle coming down that driveway, it's very difficult to exit onto East Locust Street, either going east or west, primarily because of the five-foot cement wall, which blocks visibility to the east. And also, you have the situation of a heavily trafficked street, Locust Street, which is very hard to navigate at particular times of day. And as generally as people who do navigate it know is often busy and 
you have cars that are usually going, oh, 40 to 50 miles an hour on East Locust, and it would be difficult for him always to, for him or his uh, tenant to get onto East Locust Street from that driveway. Presently, um, because of the alleyway extending east over to Dougalby and back of the property on the north side, um, he's also able to exit the property from that side, which is a very safe way to get on to Locust <clears throat> compared to this entrance here. I think you've adequately answered my question. Thank you. No further questions? <clears throat> any other questions? Any, any other questions? Commissioner Maness. Thank you. I'm not sure if this is for you, Mr. Malloy, or maybe for the staff. I am just wondering, are there any utility vehicles such as trash pickup that use that alley at this time? Uh, I think that'd be a more appropriate question for the staff. No, we, we can check with Solid Waste Services and get that information to you. Thank you. Any additional questions? Seeing none, thank and you. Also, um, Mr. Egan's uh, daughter is here that she'd like to address the uh, commissioner I will, also. I will ask for additional comments. Would anybody else like to speak in favor of or in opposition to? Please identify yourself. Um, my name is Kayla Fielder, and I am the property manager for my father for the address at 2342 East Locust Street. Um, we are opposed to this, as well as Mr. Molloy had said, because we use this access to get out of the property. I had uh, taken Mr. Molloy to the property on Friday, and I have multiple videos of my vehicle sitting in that driveway trying to pull out onto Locust Street. I also have a front camera on my vehicle. And I could not see past the wall without blocking the sidewalk. Um, I have the camera shown at the sidewalk view. You can't see anything. I have even went past the sidewalk. You still could not see. I have to go out past the sidewalk where it's almost like the approach. And I'm at the East Locust Street to be able to turn out. I, I, it was kind of terrified me. So I recommend all of you to... Um, Go drive it, drive down the alley, <clears throat> try to pull out of there and see how you would want to do that. <laughs> if that's if this is something that you guys you know think that it should not be vacated or should be vacated to go and try it and, and see if, if that's something that you'd want to pull out every day. If you would like to submit pictures to staff, I can do that, yes. Do that. Um, I can do a video because I mean the vi I have more of a video that shows where the camera is in relation to traffic that's coming down the road. We can coordinate that with you. Okay. okay. Any um, additional any, comments? Nope. Any questions? Commissioner Bransgard? Yeah, I had, a, I had a quick question. Does the city um, pick up trash then for that property in the alley? Um, I used to pick up off the alley in Dougalby, but then it, we have rechanged it, and now it picks up trash off of Locust Street. Okay. Thank you. Any additional questions? Seeing none, thank you. Any additional questions or comments? Or please step forward and identify yourself. Good evening. My name is Rachel Pace, and I'm here representing the property owner. Can I get your property address? 2317 East Pleasant Street. Thank you. The property owner, owner excuse me, is Sheila Craig. Thank you. Um, Mrs. Craig is one of those property owners that has an easement for the sewer. So I have the abstract of title from 1965 where it states that the grantee, or the grantors, excuse me, Arthur Edwards and Melba G. Edwards at the time, as owners of the tract of land described as lot 14 and west 24 feet of lot 13, all in block 2 of Joseph S. Thomas subdivision in the city of Davenport, Iowa, do hereby grant, bargain, and convey unto grantee a perpetual easement and right of way for construction and repair of a storm sewer across, through, and under a tract of land, as described, right? Um, and it also grants bargains and conveys the right to maintain, renew, enlarge, extend, or reconstruct said sewer. The city has record of making repairs to that sewer in the last 50-something years. Um, Mrs. Craig's concern is that 
there is no access from her backyard to um, without having an alley at this point. And Mrs. Craig did provide comments that were supposed to be provided as part of the packet. Um, you have those in front of you. The request is, is that you do not vacate the right of way. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Seeing none, thank you. Public works. I'm sorry. Would anybody else like to step forward? Yeah, hang on. Excuse me. You're fine. Take your time. Um, public works You're, does not I have... I need your name and address, please. I'm sorry. I'm Sheila Craig. The thank address you. is 2317 East Pleasant Street. Thank you. Public works right now does not have access to the fix the sewer. There's supposed to be a coming to look at it anyway because the ground is settling. Um, the one time that I did talk to them back in the early 90s where they did have to replace it, they said they would bring the trucks down the alley. There is no gravel on there. It's strictly grass and shrubs. But anyway, as it was said, I have no access. Right now, if I want anything out of my backyard where there is a gate, I can cross that easement with the permission of the apartment owners on local street. So, any questions? Commissioners, any questions? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you. Any additional? My name's Steve May. Uh, I live at 2356 East Locust Street. Um, I'm on the corner of Duggleby and East Locust. I'm the property owner that is currently trying to get the easement. Um, my reasoning for doing this is I would like to clean my area up, um, clean the neighborhood up a little bit. Um, I brought some pictures that I can give the staff to kind of back up what I would like to do. Um, currently, when I bought the property in 2018, there was no access at all. It was overgrown. Um, I have videos um, of people bringing their down tree debris and putting it in the alley, or what was an alley. Um, and I took videos because they were putting it onto my property. Um, When we moved in in uh, January of uh, 2018, I believe, um, the next door neighbor, uh, Sean uh, Head, <coughs> said that he had a friend at City that said he could go ahead and clean up all the alley and put gravel down. Um, I just moved in. I don't, I don't, I said, okay, I guess. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to, you know try to contact all of you guys to verify his story. Um, <clears throat> that was not um, accessible to his property, uh, to mine. There was a tiny little uh, gravel patch that I had been parking on and the previous owner had been parking on. Um, so for 30 years, I went back and looked at the previous owner. Um, it was a family with the last name of Dre, D-R-A-Y. Um, their only entrance and exit was Locust Street. There was no back alley exit or entrance. If it was good enough for this family for 30 years, I, I mean, who am I to say, you know, that it's not good enough for anybody else? Um, A couple of quick things. There are no utility vehicles that use that at all. Um, trash for that property is picked up on Locust Street. Trash for my property is picked up on Duggleby. The previous tenant was using that alley to put his trash in that would continually fall over onto my property, and I was picking up tenant's trash. It was blowing in my yard. It's blowing in the easement. There's currently trash all in the easement from this. 
Um, I work really hard for what I have, and I don't want to have to clean up after somebody else. I have three girls at home. So I, I get enough of it at home. I don't want to have to pick up after a tenant. Um, the lawyer here had suggested that it would be detrimental to the public if this was blocked off. The only person it's affecting are his tenants. That's it. I have a picture of going down the alley of how the current state is. And for this lady to be able to get access, it's going to be a pretty large undertaking for you guys. Maybe you, got, maybe, maybe you want to do it. I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to give you my information the best I can. <clears throat> so my plan is to clean up both sides of this alley. There's a small hill, and I would like to set a detached garage um, in the northwest corner of it and possibly look at paving or doing some sort of driveway to access my house. Um, also fencing some areas off. Uh, I, have, I have dogs. Um, so by doing this, I mean, I'm cleaning up a large piece of property that's been neglected for it seems like uh, 30 years, 40 years. Um, I'm, I'm going to pay for that. I'm going to do it. I'll do all the hard work. I'm going to clean up my neighborhood. If I add, add a building on there, you guys are going to get to tax me on it, which I know you'll love. That's fine. I'm hoping by <clears throat> starting to clean up some of this area that maybe some of my neighbors can get some motivation and, and want to invest in, in their properties too. Um, I've been there for five years. Um, I like my neighborhood. It's had its issues, but the people around me are good people. Um, and my daughters go to McKinley School. It's a great school. Um, I'm, I'm terrible at public speaking, so I apologize if I sound like I'm, I'm just rambling. But um, a couple of the safety concerns. Um, I'm a union sprinkler fitter. I work in service. My day all day is fixing problems. So when somebody comes to me with a problem, I try to think of a way to fix it. When they say safety is a concern of getting on the locust, it is. Go try to go from Bell to locust. Tell me how that goes. There's like an eight foot tall concrete wall there. It's terrible to try to get out there. Go down towards the school, towards McKinley. It's terrible to try to get out there. They're 100% right. People drive insane down that stretch of road. I don't know if they think it's like a NASCAR track or something, but there's been a bunch of accidents and, and wrecks and just, it's a, it's a rough stretch. And this property isn't the only place that has an issue getting in or out. Um, just from quick looking at it, um, if it was vacated, there's a section going to the west that could be cleaned up. I'm assuming this wasn't done because it would be a larger undertaking and cost more money. Mine was the easier, cheaper path. The concrete wall, um, I apologize, I did some measuring. I'm not a concrete guy. Um, maybe this could be done, maybe it couldn't be done. I don't know. Like I said, I just try to solve problems when I see them. There's roughly two foot that could be removed back towards the east of that wall. Ground level from the top of that slant coming down is roughly one foot. So going from two foot back, coming down a foot, and going over to nine foot off of the existing wall, you could possibly gain quite a bit of clearance. Now, I understand I'm not paying for this, 
I'm just offering a solution. Um, I also have pictures of pulling out of there. I read the suggestion to go try to pull out of there. So when I got home from work today, I went ahead and did that. I took a couple of pictures. I'll be glad to give those to those guys along with some other stuff that I have if, if you guys would like to see it. Um, So, I have, I have a list of stuff, but it's just not, it's not relevant to this, um, but uh, I would, I would strongly, you know, I'm for it. Um, I, I, I want to do this. I, I want to clean my property up. I want to make it a nice, safe place for my kids to hang out in the yard, for my dogs to be outside, for us to have friends over and live there for a really long time and continue to pay my Davenport property taxes, which are sky high. <laughs> it will be even higher if I get to put a, a garage up. Um, if, if, if it gets voted down, you know, uh, one property is going to benefit from it how it is now. It, is it worth it? I mean, maybe it is. I, I, I don't know. Um, all I'm doing is I just wanted to get the process going and get me Get a yeah or nay, and whatever you guys decide is is fine by me. But I would really uh, appreciate it if you guys put it through. Um, I think that's all I got. Unless you guys got some questions, I apologize for being long-winded. Commissioner Hefner, Chairman, what kind of vehicle did you drive? It was a 2006 BMW uh, X3. Okay, so it sits up a little bit. It's a mid-size. It's a compact SUV, I guess you could call it. Okay. Kind of like a Equinox or a Ford Escape or something. That's good. What kind of vehicle do you drive? Uh, I have four. Thank you. That's, That's all. significantly longer. Commissioner Garrington. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Did you say you were planning on it in the northeast or the northwest corner of your property? Northwest corner, sir. North west corner, okay. Correct. And how would you then would you be using the alleyway to get to the to Dougalby then? Mm. Or would you put my lot is butted next to Dougalby? Um, I don't, there was a picture uh, that had the two uh, ways facing the alley, yeah, yeah. so that. <clears throat> That is coming in um, right about where that dirt spot is uh, in the center. That's my property pin. Um, and what I did when I bought it, there was a little tree there. I tore that out and I graveled that area because it was on my property. And that's where we parked. Where you would be putting it up where those cars are? No, it would be in the northwest oh. corner. I have a, I have a picture. It would probably make more sense if you saw the picture. If it's northwest, I, I understand. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Or I would like to encourage any of the commissioners to drive up there and take a look to get oriented with it. These are a little confusing if you haven't been there. Highly recommend that. Any other questions? Seeing none. Thank you. I turn my pictures in to you. You guys? can. Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Anybody else like to speak that hasn't spoke? Commissioners, any final questions? Seeing none, we will close the public hearing for case number ROW 23-02. We will move on to our regular meeting agenda. Commissioner Thomas, roll call, please. Schneider. Present. Michael Berry. Present. Johnson. Here. Tallman here. Ingram. Present. Hepner. Here. Ransgard. Here. Reinhardt. Here. Manus. Garrington? Yes. And Stelk? Here. We have a quorum, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Tallman. Report of City Council activity. Laura? Yep, I've got a, just a few for you. Um, first being the City has passed a resolution to support annexation of additional 120 
uh, sorry, 182 acres in um, just to the west of the Eastern Iowa Industrial Center. Um, so that has gone to the, the State Community Development Board for review, and in about 30 days, that will um, most likely be annexed into the city. Um, so that would be one. And then the other one would be uh, related to the um, right away. Uh, so ROW 23-01. Uh, that's the uh, right away uh, vacation and REZ 23-01, which is the rezoning of land uh, over by five points, has passed city council. They did amend uh, the conditions to include a right in, right out requirement on Division Street. Um, so that has moved forward. Thank you, Laura. Secretary's report. Move the report. Second. All in favor of the secretary's report is printed, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, it will remain the same. Comp plan, anything new, Laura? Not at this point, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> there is no zoning activity. We do have one subdivision activity under new business, Commissioner Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, tonight. Commissioner Tallman, did you? I was not oh. there, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I Mr. Chairman, I will be abstaining from this case and have Commissioner Maness uh, take care of the attendance. Thank, Thank you. you. Commissioner Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Tonight we have case F23-05, request of Mesa Rich North Park Mall LLC for a final plat of North Park Office Max edition. The one lot subdivision is located at 320 West Kimberly Road on 2.1 acres in Ward 7. Staff recommends the Plan and Zoning Commission accept the listed findings and forward case F23-025 F23 to the City Council with a recommendation for approval subject to the listed conditions. And I so move. Second. Case F23-05 has been moved and seconded for discussion. Matt? Thank you. Um, so the subject property, it's the former office max, big box at North Park Mall. So it's located on the corner of Northwest Boulevard and Kimberly Road, um, just adjacent to the Olive Garden. Uh, access to the site's just taken from um, any of the mall entrances to the property, the closest one probably being the one that lines up with Main Street, just south of Kimberly Road. Um, so here's an image of the current site. The property is currently zoned uh, under our, our city center zoning district, which was just passed uh, a year ago. And it's shown as regional commercial in our future land use plan. Uh, so on the screen before you is the final plat, which carves out uh, the existing site as well as parking. Um, so access to the site would be provided through um, a requested cross access easement, allowing uh, property owners or customers to enter through one of the mall entrances to get to the property since access won't be provided to Kimberly Road. Um, this portion of land, it's part of a stormwater management agreement with the mall, meaning that redevelopment uh, does not require additional stormwater management practices as that has already been accounted for as part of the original development of this parcel. So with that, um, staff is recommending that the commission accept the listed findings and forward the case to city council with a recommendation for approval. Uh, the findings are that the plat conforms with the comprehensive plan, prepares the area for future development, and the plat with conditions uh, will achieve consistency with subdivision requirements. Uh, so there's just three conditions being recommended, the first two being standard conditions, and then the third be that um, Surveyors note five and six shall document an access easement on the final plat or reference a recorded document providing access. Thank you, Matt. Commissioners, any questions of staff at this point? Seeing none, would the petitioner care to step forward? I'm Seth Peterson with Chad Hattery representing the owner if the commission has any questions. Commission, anything? Seeing none, I guess you're free. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Final call for questions? 
Roll call, please. Commissioner Maness. Yeah. Here. Yes or no? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay. Garrington. Yes. Maness. Yes. Reinhardt. Yes. Bransgard. Yes. Hebner. Yes. Eichelberry. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Schneider. Yes. Passes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. And um, that's all for this evening. Thank you, Commissioner Johnson. <laughs> Commissioner Maynes. Moving on to future base business. Anything, Laura? Yeah, I, I do believe we will have a, a subdivision plat for you uh, next time. So um, stay tuned and, and we'll definitely confirm that for you. Will do. Any communications from anybody? Seeing none. Any other business? Seeing none. Move to adjourn. Okay. Right. All in favor of adjournment, signify by aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. We're officially adjourned. Thank you for your attendance.